everyone so we've made it to Ruby Gap and uh, right now we are camping here and guess where it is it is right in the middle of a dry riverbed <laughs> how crazy is that my biggest worry though is if you have a look behind me can you see that can you see that yes we've got a big storm coming so and we are in the middle of a riverbed so it's been 40 degrees and they are saying it's going to be going to be 25 degrees tomorrow so 15 degrees less so something has to happen right there's a cold front coming and we have got a, a warm a, a very hot front on us so we could have planned to have a storm somewhere i don't know if it's going to hit us or if it's just going to pass above us but i can tell you those storm cloud looks really 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 dark to me so we might have to pack up very quickly and and run away from here i don't know anyway it's all in good fun all in good fun so we are now resting a bit and uh, once the flies have settled i'm going to cook some tea very good well have a good night everyone it just went all around us we had five drops of rain and that was it but this morning it's very very cool you can see we've got our jumpers on and um, yeah so very pleased that uh, suddenly the river didn't fill up with any water otherwise we would have been swimming home <laughs> so right now Keith is uh, having fun trying to look for some sapphire are you finding anything? Uh, just found that. Yeah? Circle. Yeah. All right. Catch you later. The challenge of uh, this type of terrain is, is the fact that you've got some very soft and deep sand so you need your tire relatively deflated so you don't get bogged but then you've also got a lot of rocks so if you've got your tire too deflated you could potentially puncture or even damage, damage the rim so you've got to drive extremely slowly and find the right balance for the tire.
now we're going to have a look at the center of Arl Tunga. And uh, so this is basically this village completely abandoned, but which was built here just for the mine. Looks very interesting. Let's go and check it out. This is called the Government Work. It was built in the late 1900. The government work included administration offices, a maintenance shed, assay and bullion rooms, and residences for government employees. That's a million dollar view, right? What do you think? He also included a police station with a jail. And here's the battery to crush the ore. And these are the cyanide bath to extract the gold. All right, we are going to do the McDonald Range Reef Mine Walk. So, this is a little box and uh, yeah, give you all the the background of um, of the walk really, which is awesome. You see the quartz, the white stone. That's called the quartz vein. And this is where they found gold, in that vein there. And they drilled this shaft seven and a half meter deep. shaft and uh, of mine that was mining gold here they um, extracted 350 tons of ore and they only got 240 ounces of gold which is not a huge amount um, but it seems to be one of the largest and richest mine around the wide range mine so that's pretty cool <music> Morning everyone! So we are at Endala Gorge. What's particular about Endala Gorge is all the petroglyph Aboriginal marking of the rocks. I think there is something crazy like 4,000 of them right in this one and a half kilometer walk. So, um, so we can't wait to see it. We talked to Tom, the ranger, yesterday, and he told us that some of them are quite difficult to see. The view is absolutely magnificent here. We are in a gorge, and again, same as the West MacDonald, it's all the, all the red rock. Um, and uh, now the sun is coming up. It is uh, absolutely beautiful. Check this out.
Well, this was different and extremely interesting. And what a nice walk in this Engala, Endala, Endala Gorge. Um, we saw quite a lot of rock carving. Um, very faded, some of them. I think they are very, very old carvings. Um, very interesting to see. I've never seen that before, so I was pleased to see it. But most importantly, the walk was extremely enjoyable. We had such a great time exploring the East MacDonald Ranges. Our highlights were Ruby Gap, the historic town of Altunga, and Endala Gorge. Although Trefina Gorge was stunning, it was intensely hot and dry, so we didn't stay long. The East MacDonald Range might be less popular due to fewer waterholes compared to the West MacDonald Ranges. Our next stops in the Northern Territory will include Palm Valley, Kings Canyon and Uluru. Subscribe to our channel to follow our adventures. In the meantime, get out there and continue exploring!